Hello, it's Liz here. I hope you've been enjoying the watercolor series that I've been doing this month for the uh, watercolor month. Um, this will be the last one I'll be doing for now for this month. I've always let, enjoyed doing watercolor, so I'm sure there'll be some other videos, but this is the last one for this month. And if you haven't seen the other ones, go back and check them out. But let's get started. This is the card that I'll be sharing with you today. Pretty soft colors, right? Okay. Let me set that aside. The stamp set that I'll be using is called Splendid Thoughts, and it is from the mini catalog. The mini catalog looks like this one, if you have it at home, or if you're looking online. It is right here, and it's called Splendid Thoughts. There's a stamp set, there's dies, there's embellishments and paper that all goes with that. Okay, Splendid Thoughts, I'll put that aside. And the ink colors that I'll be using today, Soft Sea Foam, Blackberry Bliss, Pool Party, and Fresh Freesia. Okay, let's set those aside. I'll be using the Soft Sea Foam ribbon that is in that suite. It is Seam Binding Ribbon. Okay, super soft, easy to... Um, tie or make bows out of that. Let's see what else we're using here. I'm going to be using a spritzer. Let's see. I'm going to show you this in the catalog. This is the annual big catalog on page 129. Number nine is the Stampin' Spritzers and you get two of them for $3.25. Great deal. Just filled with water. You can also do where you can fill them with alcohol with like rubbing alcohol to do a different technique but we're just filling it with water this time. And then I'll also be using the water painters. The water painters come three in a pack. Let me pull this out for you a second. They come three in a pack and they all have different um, tips to them. Oops, sorry, the wrong one. They all have different tips to them. You have a wide, broad, and then you have a skinny one and then a medium one. Okay. So let's put that aside. And I think that's it, other than dimensionals, you know, because I like to usually put those on. So some dimensionals and some glue dots, but I think that's everything. So let's get started. I'll be using soft sea foam for my base, and it's already been pre-scored. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, bone folder. Some of you may have seen in the past. This is fine to do with your finger for one. I needed to do 54 card bases for a project I was working on, and I did this with my with my thumb, and I know better. I know better. Uh, it just, I was quick. My thumb was here. I didn't have my bone folder right on my table, which I should have. Uh, so I did this. I ended up with a big blister on the side of my finger. So bone folder's great. Let's put that aside. And then I have two pieces. I'm Oh, I know. I'm using shimmery white paper today. Usually when we um, do watercolor, we think of the watercolor paper. And, but you can also use shimmery white paper. It's a thicker paper and it has little like shimmers, little sparkles all through it. So I have a shimmery white piece. It's four by five and a quarter. And I have another shimmery white piece that's two and a quarter by three and three fourths. Okay, so four by five and a quarter, two and a quarter by three and three fourths. All right, let's get started with this. Another thing I'm just keeping on hand, it's just a napkin, paper towel. Anytime you're working with water, it's just nice to have something there in case you need to dab something, all right? I'm going to take my ink pads. I'm going to press all of them in. Press it in and open it up. And by pressing that, I'm just getting some ink on the lid. So let's lay this here. Pressing this one. Let's lay that there. And I'm going to press this one too. I'm just pressing together. And I'm going to open that one up. Okay, I'll just put that right there. All right, so what I'm going to do is this is my piece of shimmery white paper. Let me make this make sure we're in the camera here. I want to make sure that my brush is really wet. And I'm going to, I want it really wet. Otherwise, it's not going to come out the same thing. I'm going to do a wash. I'm using the, the broadest tip. And just swooshing down, okay? Do not worry about making it perfect, a perfect line. It's not necessary. I'm going to go into the Bermuda. Is that what I said it was, Bermuda Bay? What are we using here, guys? Sorry, this is the pool party. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
And I just stuck my finger in the ink. Guys, this is real, right? All right. So this is pool party. I'm just going to swoosh down. And I'm moving over into the soft sea foam. And you'll see I'm just going right from one color to the next. I'm just squeezing water out of it so that I can get rid of the last color. And then I'm going to go right to the next color. Okay, if you get to like that where there's not enough there, no big deal. Just go back, grab some more ink. There you go. This next one, put a little extra down here, there we go. All right, and we're gonna move on to soft sea foam. Okay, and you can see how I'm not really worried about being exactly straight lines, it's fine. And if you feel like, okay, there's not enough ink, just close it up, squeeze it again, and you'll get some more ink in the cover. Okay, just getting wet. And there we go. Okay, and that's it. That's the background. That's what we got. And so that's just a wash, doing a watercolor wash. All right, let's set that aside for now. I'm going to grab the small piece here. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to just spritz lightly, just very, very lightly. You don't want it to be soaking wet. We're just going to spritz lightly. I'm going to do this out of the camera, though, so I'm not getting it all over the place, but I'm just going to do a light spray. That's it. That's like two spritzes I did on that, okay? I'm going to pull in the Blackberry Bliss, and I'm using the stamp that's in that stamp set. All right, and I'm going to just stamp right on that piece that I just did. Oh, guys, that is not what I wanted to do. Give me a second, that is not the color I wanted. I'm thinking that is really dark. All right, live TV. All right, hang on one second, I'm gonna cut this up. It happens, guys. All right, so that piece was three and three fourths by two and a quarter, two and a quarter. That is not the color I wanted to do there. Okay, take two. Let me clean that off. All right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the Fresh Freesia. That's what I want. Fresh Freesia. Oh, we got to spritz this again. All right, here we go. Fresh Freesia. Take two. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go, okay. That's much better. Okay, now because I spritzed it a little bit, do you see, I don't know if you can see there, it's kind of bleeding. The color's bleeding just slightly, just slightly. So you could just let that dry or you could choose your heat gun. Just because it's very, very like light spritz on there, I just use a napkin and I'm just gonna actually just dab off the extra water that's on there, okay? So then I'm using, now I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss. The Blackberry Bliss. This will not match up exactly. Sometimes we have like two-step stamps where the inner part will match up with the outer. Let me show you here. Sometimes we think like this is gonna line up exactly inside that one. This one's gonna line up exactly inside that one. This does not do that. So if you look back at the catalog and see, it's not meant to line up exactly. It's um, like a shadow kind of look to it. So it's not going to line up. So don't be worried that it's not happening. Okay. So that's what I have there with that one. Then I'm going to take this the greenery and we're going to add the greenery with the soft sea foam and I'm just going to go in the sides and fill in any of that white space just around the card you see I'm just I'm off the edges 
and there we go. And that's it. We can close that one up. We can close up this one, and we can close up this one. All right, so this is our centerpiece. I'm going to grab this one here, and we're going to put the words on. I love this one. It just says sending hugs. So I'm stamping this in the um, Blackberry Bliss. Put this right along the bottom. Straight down, straight back up, right? Okay. Using my Stampin' Seal. I'm putting that on the soft seafoam base. Okay, Put that over. We're gonna press that down. Let me close up this ink pad. How many of you have uh, left your ink pad open and then uh, next thing you know, it's all over your fingers? So let's close this up and get that out of here. All right. Now, I, this is where I took my dimensionals. And we're going to pop some dimensionals on the back here so that something is sticking up on this card. All right, let's put this on in the center, but if you wanted to, you could put it up here on the, well, you know what? Now nah, let's just leave it there. So you, you go ahead and just put that wherever. When I show you a card, I'm just giving you a suggestion. If you want to alter it and do your own thing, absolutely just go ahead and do that. So there we go, and we can leave it like that, but I'm going to add just a little extra. I'm grabbing the ribbon here. This piece here is about 10 inches. Sometimes when you don't know how long to make something, I think it's easier if you just try and make your bow, just pull it up from the from the um, the roll that you have and just start making your bow this way and then you know exactly what you need and you can cut it after the bow is made. But this one's about 10 inches, but if that one's not long enough for you to make a bow, you might wanna do it about 12 inches. So what I'm doing is coming down here. I know bows are a stickler for a lot of people. So making two, ears like this okay and then i'm taking my left one and i'm going over the top of the right one and i know if you're left-handed you have to adapt but you probably have been doing that for a long time in your life right it's a little figuring here i'm trying to pull this through the hole there oh i'm not getting it okay hang on guys All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna pull this through that hole, and there we go, okay? And then it comes out and it looks funky. It's not great right now, so you just start playing with it. Pull the tails, and then pull back again. Okay, and you can get it to where you like it. I'm gonna grab, off, grab the scissors and just trim off ends. And I'm gonna use some glue dots, depending on if you got them in a kit or if you got them um, through the catalog, they'll be either on a flat sheet like that or on a roll. I'm putting two little glue dots on the back. We do have a take a pick tool. I tend to not use it a whole lot because I don't really have a problem picking up these. If, if these are a problem to pick up for you if you have a hard time getting them off of here grab the take a pick tool and it is great for that if it's if it's something that will help you then grab it because you might want that or for picking up little sequins or whatever okay and i'm just going to take that and we'll stick it right here on the side and that will stay on there it holds very well and that's our card there you go so i hope you enjoyed that give it a try and I hope you enjoyed the watercolor ideas for this month. Thanks so much. Hit that share button down below if you think there's someone you know that would enjoy this card and the idea. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.